Welcome to Capture the World with D. Interviews with companies and individuals to learn more about digitally capturing the built world. Video, drone, 3D tours, pictures, panoramas, and more. And now your host, a social influencer and community activist, D. Johnson. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Capture the World with D. I'm your host, D. Johnson. My guest today is the CEO of Giraffe 360, a virtual tour company that uses a high specification sensor and robotic camera to capture 3D spaces. Hmm, is this the next replacement for Matterport? Stay tuned and we'll learn all about it. So without further ado, please help me welcome the CEO, Mikus Opeltz. Hi, Mikus. Thanks for joining me today. How are you? Hey, Dee. Thanks for having me. I'm great. It's <laughs> an afternoon in London. Um, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, so there's been a ton of interest in your product, Giraffe360. So let's start out by having you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you started this whole, this whole company. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's start from the beginning. Um, Draw360, we are probably three year old business. Uh, maybe we're hitting the fourth year now. Well, we, my background is actually 10 years ago, I started a, a photography company that's, that does virtual tours as a service. So we started in Nordic Europe, uh, starting with simple guest houses and eventually grew into doing the Ritz, the Hiltons, like a high end visit drone footage, 3D I'm modeling. And so we, I've been I've been around working with different visualization products and tech for the last decade already. So it sounds a lot to me. Um, <laughs> and and Giraffe 360 was a natural spin-off. Uh, we we're just working constantly on a on a service on a service side. And and in one day we decided we have to go deeper and start building our own tech. And we looked on the market, looked what we thought is necessary and we came we came across we, that that's how giraffe 360 concept uh was born um and in a, in a nutshell we we have been focused on on building an end-to-end -end tech for property documentation and make it really simple but i guess there's quite a few companies trying to do that so giraffe sort of arose out of the need that your need yeah, but but we were not uh, we were not specifically looking at how do we build our camera for ourselves as a photographer. Mm -hmm. um, I was more kind of it, it felt more interesting to try to figure out how to how to give a camera to to the to the mass market uh, to like the, the the state agents to to property managers to architects uh, because like to to simplify down the process and make it uh, make it more accessible because professional service is a professional service and it's not available for all market, and 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 we wanted to kind of give that availability to the wider range of market that naturally doesn't have a budget to go with a professional service provider um, and 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 so it the, the challenge was how do we build a tech for 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 this big big market uh, that yeah that that don't call us and, and ask for a professional service okay so how why giraffe 360 how did you come up with the name? Uh, giraffe is the biggest animal in jungle. It's <laughs> everything. Ah. Um, and our product, we want to show show everything. We want to show more, and and giraffe just just naturally uh, just, is, is that thing that just naturally uh, kind of suits uh, suits the vision we we are, we are bringing um, bringing and just the a comment behind the tech. Uh, on the, on the on the documentation side, it's for us. It's always been important to try to see how we can do these, how we can do property and other industries, how we can get them on the screen. And this is where the text like our um, become important. Um, yeah. So I think Giraffe just just shows that uh, pretty well. That's cute because America actually loves giraffes. Like a couple of years <laughs> back, there was a giraffe named April, and everybody watched her as she gave birth. So. That... <laughs> I don't think that this giraffe will ever give birth. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It would be cool if it could pop out mini cameras, huh? <laughs> I think there's an idea for, for a <laughs> I would buy one. If you did that, I'll buy one. 
All right, so tell us more about Giraffe 360. What is it? Um, I will I will bring in the, the actual, probably the, the core, what everyone sees and, and where is it start. Um, so as I said, it's all included tech, um, but it starts with the camera. We felt uh, we felt that we need to build our own camera um, the, to provide the simplicity. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so how the camera works is literally, I just turned it on. Yeah, you just drop it on a tripod. It's our own design tailored tripod. Here we have the LiDAR laser and here on the top we have a photo lens. Uh, so it's simultaneously a measuring device uh, and a capture device as a, as a photography or visual capture device. And all the user needs to do is just press this either 3D button or a photography button and, and the camera going to start uh, start capturing the capturing the space um, so answer your question what what is the product so uh, it's first is the capture device and then once the once the space is captured the files are sent to processing and then user receives all end visuals to their to their dashboard um, but but this is in a nutshell so no ipad nothing just the camera yeah, we want to kind of avoid unnecessary steps uh, to make it kind of on the screen, simple, um, kind of with no no add-ons. And we even kind of have this small, neat Ooh, back cool. in camera. Mm -hmm. You put a tripod here at the back uh, so, the, so the user doesn't have any struggle with with moving around and, and we, we, we have been pretty focused on the whole journey for, for our customer. and to make the process as smooth as possible. And it starts with getting rid of unnecessary buttons and functions, unnecessary screens, uh, ends up with a bag where you can attach the tripod. And the so the camera comes with the tripod? Yeah, everything is all included. Um, we, 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 we have never been interested in, in selling like a hardware and that's, that's not our business. We are a subscription service. So, we do everything as an all included, all included thing. Um, so our, our customer just signs up for the for the service or the technology, um, receives giraffe packaged in a in a nice box and have a tripod, everything there, um, the 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 bag and just and can start using it literally in a minute. And I and I just gave you the training. There's literally no, nothing else you need to do um, because when you turn off the device, it automatically starts to upload files and and goes to sleep and, and draft is done and yeah it's pretty straightforward okay wait so it's so do you have to have internet <coughs> an internet connection right to upload the data yeah you can add a sim card here uh, and connect to the 4g or we set it up to your home or office wi-fi and whenever you are in the radius of your wi-fi it starts to upload depends or, or you can do 4g uh, from your phone, uh, just just create a hotspot and connect with your camera. So there are three different. And if there's no internet, there is a cable here. Um, you can just connect it to your laptop. Uh, wow. Um, you can uh, plug in the cable, uh, attach it to the laptop, and upload it uh, manually um, using your using your laptop. Okay, so let's recap here. So I am I love Draft 360. I want to be a customer. I call you up. You send me the camera, the tripod, and the bag. Yep. I don't need an iPad. I just need the camera. I go and I shoot my panos, right? I come home, yep. and it automatically is smart enough to know when I'm near my home Wi-Fi to upload my files. Yeah, that, so far, so so far, right. Okay, this is too good to be true. Okay, so let's carry on. So, the <laughs> yeah, so so I'm at home. I've uploaded my um, panos. Do you want to share your any your screen, or do you what? Yeah, I can I can show you the uh, the results. So, so let me share the screen. So when you when you before the once the project is uploaded, you would you would see it on your dashboard like this. It's it's the uh, sets of panels and okay. you can you can add some information to it once it's done you see the full finished assets and and even though you said in the intro it's a virtual tour tech um, 
I think like it's hard on the marketing end because uh, people either talk about virtuals or talk about floor plans, but we don't divide the contents. Uh, we believe that in the modern world, you need three essential contents, which is photography, floor plan, and then a 3D environment. So, and, and we have a KPIs for all those contents and there is no, I can't say that the virtual tour is more important than floor plan. So, um, and I think it's harder to get that message across because others maybe are more focused, but here you have the floor plan. It's uh, with all the measurements uh, um, and accurate uh, with the 2% margin of error on average, and you can get it in foot or in square, uh, square meters. Um, then once the project is finished, so here you have your photography. Um, it's- um, so, Oh, so it creates pictures too, wow. Yeah, you have the, the second button I didn't show, but it, it, it shoots the photography, it shoots straight away in a wide angle. Um, and is it and, is it HDR? Yeah. So if you if you know like for good photography, uh, editing is uh, it's not so much about pixels; it's about editing. So so if you if you pay attention to the windows and how nicely it's masked, and this is just a random regular property. This is good looking property, but this is not like a marketing showcase. Uh, this is this is how photographies are being edited. And 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 then on the and then the third thing is the is obviously the virtual tour. So uh, the this is the virtual tour, the same view was as it was on the photography. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been always focused on the resolution and the quality of the image because we want people to start buying and renting uh, properties on these things uh, even before the lockdown. That that has always been kind of our goal. So. Quality is just kind of, I think, a natural, necessary asset. If I would want to move to LA and I need to choose a property moving from London, I want it on a higher resolution on my screen. So, um, so this is this is so wherever I place the camera is basically where you're, you're where where you're moving. Um, on the virtual tour end, we have been more focused. We we have been really focused on that UX and how the user navigates around the property. So how they use the map to zoom in and, and, and change their location on the map. And if you see there is a mirror and there's no reflection of the camera here. Um, so so there are like small details. Again, if, if like we did virtual tours started to 2010. So uh, we, we know the small things that people like when they when they uh, request a virtual tour. So uh, we have included those all small details in the, into the product. and. Uh, um, so, so really, but, but I was talking about the navigation. So we really are, have paid the special attention, how you move step by step, but also how you use map yes. as your navigator, because as soon as you start to go down to the decision cycle of choosing the property, that UX becomes really important. And we kind of have never been drawn to those flashy aspects of the virtual tours where virtual tours are just kind of cool and fun, uh, even though they are, but more about, okay what's the user flow and and have always been analyzing what, what what is important for that user and what's not yeah um, exactly so i'm all, i've always said this that the next step to displaying photos or panos is not the film strip that you see now at the bottom it's interactive on a mat on a floor plan like that where you yeah. know exactly where that picture is taken because so often it, I'll see a picture of a bathroom and I'll be like, I have no idea which bathroom this is and where it's located in the house. And so now you, there's no ambiguity. You'll know exactly where the picture was taken. You can see a layout of the house, which is important. But for me, with my background, it's really important that these that the measurements are accurate because it's being taken by the LIDAR. Right. So yeah. there's no guessing here. These floor plans are are correct. And if you're going to do floor plans, you you want the right you want it right. It's, there's nothing worse than trying to scan a, a property for a floor plan and getting something that's kind of close, but not really. So this is terrific. I love this. And your floor <laughs> plans are. Yeah, sure. Aut automated. Yeah. Right. So talk to me about that. Yeah. So, so b before I go into the tech, I think that's the, that's the, that's how we've been looking constantly on the product going back. Why we were emphasizing the accuracy is because we want people to be able to make a decision looking on that content and rather than just draw in historically internet, especially in the real estate space has been working. That's let's show them a neat photography and get people walk through the door. 
But as soon as you want to move that stage, okay, I, I'm, I'm interested in the property, uh, the quality of information becomes really important. The accuracy of the floor plan, the details, the descriptions. And I think historic real, real estate industry haven't been thinking about this. And now because of the lockdown, everybody's more naturally pushed in, but it, it kind of just ties in together with what's the, what's the goal for the content and not to have an accurate things or inaccurately represent. So our, our strive for that quality has always been there. So, but to answer your second question on the, on the, on the, on the tech. So everything we do is in-house, uh, the, the cameras we build ourselves. We, we built last summer, our small manufacturing facility, uh, where we assembled them together. Um, all the processing is ours and, 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 and from start to the finish, uh, we contract, uh, in terms of this processing specific, we have a, Majority of the process is automatized, uh, but we have a backend team, uh, in, in, in house team. I think it's important to emphasize that does a, that does a quality check and, and puts things, a couple of things through that computer can't figure out, uh, because we have the, the measurement data, we have the visual information and, and we can make sure that the end result is, is accurate. And, uh, and, and this is how we cover our customers, uh, so there is a manual process, uh, also in photography, for example, window masking. Um, there's there is areas where uh, it, it's important. We believe it's important to drive that quality, and thus we are putting an extra effort in to make sure that that uh, that we nail it. Oh, okay. So if I take a series of photographs, you up you actually edit those for me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, so it. It goes through our processing. Um, so when the files are uploaded, they, um, then then they go through our processing, and then then you receive end results. So we wanted, again, we've been hustling uh, as a my, my first company was a photography company. We've been hustling with the files all back and forth. We thought we should take this um, this whole process away. Uh, it's there's a lots of inefficiencies um, in the process, and just 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 make it stream and yeah and and get it ready. Because we, we, we are not focusing on just immediacy, like mm -hmm. you put, click the button, get the photography, but we are focusing on getting everything as a client needs as quick as possible. So um, rather than just push out something, some core asset, we rather put it, push it through our processing and, and deliver as like a fully kind of perfect, sure. uh, the perfect quality. And, and I, there's a saying which I love is if you don't do it, if you don't do it right the first time, when you're going to have the time to redo it? So we rather do it for, right the first time with everything and, and then everyone is good to use the contents. Yeah, that's great because a lot of people don't factor in the time that they spend on the back end, like sending their photos to editors, getting them back, right, going back and forth if they're not done correctly. So this is great. This is like a, you, there's very little. I mean, once you're done scanning, which is kind of a no-brainer, you're done, right? It uploads automatically. Yeah. So what's the turnaround time? Like if I, when I upload it, when do I get all my stuff back? Right, right now, if I remember from top of my head in August, uh, it was 90% uh, was 12 hours. Uh, the next day, uh, usually I was coming back, but depends on the upload volumes. So mm -hmm. uh, we put uh, up to 72 hour delivery times. Uh, and we try to do it as fast as possible. Uh, and uh yeah so so but our, our kind of our goal is what we have understood from our customers is nobody needs the image the same day because you you kind of you scan the property and you come in the office next day you want to have everything so we are we are focusing on having everything ready for the uh for the next morning uh when the, when the people come in the office and as, as early as possible yeah next day is terrific most people aren't doing that so that's terrific yeah yeah Okay, cool. So there's other features I know that you have. You want to talk about some of those? Yeah, there's one I really like. Uh, <laughs> um, on the on the content end, I spoke about online or remote sales process. Um, oh wait, I so I wanted to mention one thing. So on the floor plan, you'll notice that they do give a total square footage, and yeah. you can do that because guess what? These are accurate floor plans. So that number is actually is accurate and means something as opposed to some random number. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so, and, and I think in our industry, there's lots of kind of marketing about what's accurate and what's not. And, and I think, I think just 
like like w these these things need to be done well and and the quality aspect is important I yes just absolutely um, but really cool feature that that blew up during the the covid uh and and the lockdown was the remote viewing so any virtual tour here on the dashboard it comes already with the with the remote viewing functionality so i in the same way as we are doing the uh, zoom call right now i can do a zoom video into the virtual tour so right now i will probably not send to somebody on the other end but if you see on my screen share mm -hmm. i can okay i will not turn on the, the audio um so i can i can put myself up on this screen and if yeah. i send a link to someone else i can i can get you logged in to here and i can take you through the property and guide you through the story uh because when we were looking at that customer journey online we understood that there was large volumes of stuff that people want to do themselves like explore um but then we understood that there's the next engagement you want the person who's a seller uh actually kind of you want to engage with the property and so speaking with somebody who's responsible uh estate agents or or property manager uh becomes just a natural next step so uh and we have seen our customers during the lockdown just keeping up the all day sales volumes just based on these virtual tours and a yeah. nice feature nice feature in the remote viewing is just this double click i can point out something in this in the in the property that i want to emphasize like uh like here and and uh, and I can also switch over the control. I can give the control to you, and you can walk around as a as a customer uh, in this virtual tour. Um, so yeah, so this is this is a feature uh, I I personally really like. And the the thing there is, I, I remember in, in back in December we we started to kind of have a demos with our customers about it, and everybody loved it. Like kind of oh cool feature, but. There was no follow-up and, <laughs> and as lockdown was announced i remember the friday they were like by my <laughs> yeah. box was full you, you showed me that feature like can we get it now and i said like it's already on your on your dashboard <laughs> it was four or five months and just just click the button and then we're like um so so that's uh, the, that kind of moved the industry kind of i think just propels everything more to think more seriously about the digital presence and digital presentation and not only on the marketing level but on that decision making level um and to to make sure that you have the contents to to do that so yeah great so <clears throat> this is this is a great platform all right so i know you guys are based in the uk yeah. and i know that you've been wildly successful in europe correct yeah, we, we're currently servicing um, customers in 18 countries in Europe. Uh, we've been we've been growing across here. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been good. Okay, so what about us? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to kill the mood, but like we're <laughs> to the US yet, um, but uh, we're, we're it's too early uh, uh, for us to start uh, start shipping, and uh, we we still are growing in Europe, and there's a. Um, there's demand uh, for our product, uh, but if if anyone is interested, I'm only welcome to reach out because uh, and to sign up on some uh, just for the information for the we, we're gonna be looking into some test parties and and maybe planning something in the future. So I would just want to encourage anyone to that is interested in 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 testing or playing around with Giraffe 360 to to be in contact. Uh, we 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 are on the other side of the ocean, but we are not. Not that far. Not anymore. The world is small now. Yeah, that's true. All right. So let's talk about the question that's burning in everybody's mind. Talk about pricing. Okay. okay. I, thought, <laughs> I had two questions that you could ask on, on that on that on that setup. Um, pricing. Um, yeah. As I as I mentioned a couple um, uh, earlier. We're looking at ours as, as an all included uh, with no additional charges, just one fixed fee uh, and it's a subscription. So cameras are free uh, and customers are just signing up for the service. And 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 uh, to give you just just to kind of an insight in uh, in what we're charging in Europe is roughly five hundred and fifty dollars monthly subscription that that covers the uh, camera, the uh, individual processing and and you can and on annually you go up to 200 properties in this package you can do uh with no additional with no additional fees so it's an all included subscription um yeah wait a minute so it's about 550 euros 
for per month dollar. for dollar unlimited. Uh, it's it's <clears throat> the limit is at two hundred uh, property a year. Um, oh, two hundred a year. Property. Yeah, one one hundred and ninety two to be uh, to be specific now on the on the on the special promotions. Yeah. So if, wow. if you use the package, if you use the package fully, our the unit cost is is all included. The unit cost is let's say roughly thirty dollars uh, per property. Okay, wait, this is like a no brainer. Like, uh, all right, so you and I will talk offline about pulling this to the US because this is, yeah, we need to have this. <laughs> we need, I need to help you make sure you bring it to the US. <laughs> and since I'm not doing anything now, <laughs> I can help you. Wow, so amazing, like, yeah. At thirty dollars, it's cheaper than getting a floor plan from from another company. So it's a no brainer. So yeah, I think that the thing that we have been focused again, going back to how we have been thinking about them, the product and developing the product is just just getting everything done uh, on a one go, uh, not yeah. emphasizing tours, not emphasizing floor plan. There are criteria that needs to be met for each of those things and. Uh, in the world that we live in today, uh, um, the business will need all of those things, and photographer is no longer just a photography. I think uh, that was the, that's the biggest kind of just just the language thing that like we talk about photographer, and then we tie into like different different sets of contents: photography, floor plan, virtual tour, video, and kind yeah. of like what what is it? So I, I think it just naturally already shows that. Uh, that the world has moved on with the demand for the for the visual content and it's easier to to approach it as a visual content uh, rather than to kind of really be drawn into um virtual tours uh, photographies floor plans everybody needs everything now um and and people have never been really decisive so you want that to have that flexibility between choosing between those contents what you need is sometimes more or, or or less so yeah so so that that's why you have always looked on uh, one product, that, and 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 this is also the reason why we don't like when we are compared with these great virtual tour companies because we never have kind of tried to to compete with the virtual tour companies. We have never seen ourselves as a as a company that competes, for example, with Matterport. We just uh, it's it's more in the um, all included technology for for all these content creations, um, and 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 that that's it. Yeah, super easy, no uh, outlay of. It, uh, capital up front um yeah it's not i mean the only thing that matterport has is the dollhouse and i've heard so many people say the dollhouse is too confusing it's cute it's cute for like sales but when i'm looking at a house i don't care what the dollhouse looks like i want to see the interior shots i want to know the layout of the house so you've just really nailed this and it's so easy and remember you have to factor in all the time you're going to save on the back end Right. And, and the money, like with the editing and stuff. So, wow. Okay. We need to get but, this. But, but truth to be said, people love those doll houses as well. So they <laughs> do, you know, but, but, but what I'm hearing is the people that like it are the sellers because <laughs> it makes the yeah. house look cool. So, you know, we're trying to get help real estate agents sell homes. Um, yeah. So you could also use this, however, in the insurance industry, right? So if you've got like a flooded home, a lot of times they'll have like parts of the dry, like the like a foot and a half of the drywall removed and fans. You could go into a home like that, scan that home, get a floor plan that's accurate, right? It would work for that, and there's a huge demand for that. Um, yeah, I think at this stage, again, we are we are a startup um, focused on 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 the product first. Uh, so right now we've been focused really on that first use case. So we also haven't been. Uh, marketing the product or trying mm -hmm. to get other niches and needs, like you mentioned, uh, insurance. We have been really focusing on on getting the property presentation online. That that's probably the best overarching mm -hmm. packaging. How I how I can say it. But uh, like if we eventually all like we want the to, for us to be efficient as a, as a humanity, we want these things to be high quality, available on our screens, whatever in whichever aspect we are looking on it. Uh, Looking for the office insurance claim, or or, or moving moving the house, so mm -hmm. um, everything going to go online. The question is, what's the process and what's the what's the what's the tech uh, that 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 fuels it? So I think there will be 
uh, extreme amount of opportunities for companies to design the products to fulfill those those needs and use cases. So, so far we've been really focusing on that property presentation uh, as a thing. But yeah, I I completely agree that there's there's tons and oh, tons yeah. out there. So, what is the like if I wanted to scan a commercial property? What is the largest property I could scan? Um, no, no one has reached the limit. Um, like technically, we we kind of don't have a limit on it. Uh, the, qu the question is when, and uh, when the algorithm is going to go mad. Probably <laughs> there is size where, where, where the when the product uh, where it's a too big mess. Uh, but so far, nobody has reached the limit. So I, I can't give you an answer. And the, technically, there is uh, we, we we have a tech like a accounting limit. Uh, what's what's counted as one project, but that's more for a financial reason, just to have a Mm -hmm. somewhere at the end for the property so somebody doesn't go and scan the whole world but like yeah. so far in in the way how it's being processed and put together there is uh, as long as the the user follows the the flow uh, of the property then uh, then the 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 does it, we, we can do any size, uh, any size, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. You can also scan outside because there's no infrared sensors, right? Correct. Uh, outside shot has been always important in the real estate uh, yep. because uh, when you look for the property, you, um, the the indoors is is only half of the story. So the other half is the area. And Google Street View covers outside uh, more or less around the world. Uh, but I, I, we we kind of thought that you should always be able to add to virtual tour like a. Um, like a terrace, uh, because there's lots of kind of outdoor balconies. Uh, there's things that are garden that where Google Street View is not in, so that outdoor space becomes important. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have some beautiful, we have amazing customers in Malta that's that that scans these amazing villas. Uh, they they look gorgeous. Right? <laughs> a massive terrace, outside garden, uh, beachside, and we're just I'm just looking on those images and they look looks stunning so so i think yeah outside again that was never a no-brainer we need to be able to scan outside and connect everything together uh with no exception uh because uh, if that's not there then people will not be able to 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 get the property sold or rented um on on the screen yeah wow that's terrific i that's how i go on vacation i look at other people's panels of like these infinity pools on the beach i'm like oh yeah <laughs> some stunning places i've seen all right cool so i know that you told me before that that the company started with an emphasis on tech because you believe that the technology needs to be there and it and it sounds like from what you've shown us today and talked about it's this is a the technology is solid on this product um but then there's the other component. There's the customer support component. So can you yeah. speak about that? About customer support? Um, the, oh, yes. I, 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 I'm just thinking where to start. The simplest answer, how we look on customer support. I have a majority of our customers at WhatsApp. And, and that's probably a good benchmark for it. Uh, we are still a small, small company, so we are able to, to manage. But uh, well, speaking with people on WhatsApp, I think, is the, is the level of communication we would want to have internally rather than wait for a long due email. So on our end, that's kind of been always connection with the product because um, um, again, we don't sell cameras, we provide a service. So yeah. we give subscriptions out and if people will not like them, they're going to cancel. And uh, we are a subscription business, we invest in our customers. Uh, and and uh, for us, it's uh, having a deal, it's only only a first stage uh, of, of starting the relationship. Uh, so having um, a direct line of communication and having um, a, a working relationship is probably uh, just just essential for for yeah. company for a company like ours. And um, yeah, that's all that, but that was already embedded. We before we knew that we we're going to build a camera, we knew that we we're going to provide it, our service as a subscription because we want to focus on our customers as a customers rather than focus um, I think I learned earlier where your money is coming from, where the focus is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think at the day business is uh, that's true for the business, and 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 we didn't want to be focused on that first transaction, rather than to be focused on the on the service. And this is why we also think that our product is custom to, to companies. Uh, 
that has regular volumes. The subscription will not work for um, one-offs for I want to try it or like this is a subscription if, if you're doing 50 properties a year, 100, 200 plus a year, then then you need the system to cover that. And only then our product is viable when it's a, uh, we would not be viable for a, for, a, for a low volume use. It just doesn't make sense for customers to go with a system like this. Um, so the answer, you, uh, I kind of went, went around the, the service question, but I, I just think it's so essential. I don't know even where to, how to pick it or, or, where, or where to, where to start. So probably having WhatsApp as a everyone's direct line of communication, um, it's probably good description how we look on this. So the bottom line is once you sign up, they'll take care of you. They're not going to run away. If you have a question, they're there for you. So yeah, yep. I know that for, for you guys, support is super important as well. So technology and support, you got a winner there. Yeah. So is there anything? Also, also, I wanted to touch bases so on majority of our customers are non-technical um they they are not professionals so we wanted to give the tech in hands of as i said in the beginning we were building the cameras to be used by by anyone by a state agent property property manager so um and usually it's not that what 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 we learned in turn like let me give you a story we we shipped out first cameras and we didn't have any manual with the camera because like it's two buttons like <laughs> how can it be <laughs> Um, and 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 we have this client Regina in Ireland. It's amazing. And 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 the box is standing for one week, second week, third week. And then conversation after conversation, I said, okay, fine. I'm going. I'm jumping in a plane. I'm flying down to you because they said, can you come down and just show, like, take that box it out and and press the button. I said, okay, I'm gonna come down and press the button. <laughs> open the box put it on the tripod and press the button. And, and that was a really valuable lesson. Then they went on using the camera. It's like, um, it was our early version. There was, um, well, it wasn't maybe as smooth as, it definitely wasn't as smooth as this version of the camera, but but the learning there was with the technology, there was, there was a gap just just of, of, of insecurity uh, when, when the product can be there. But if, if not, like you need to, to push that button, you need, need to take that leap of faith and, and technologically oriented people have no problem to test out, to box it out, to play around. And that's not a problem. But for majority of, uh, of people on market, we we feel that like, like that fear, if, if I press the button, what's going to happen? Like, <laughs> um, I think it's always there. So we learned that, that the, 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 the training, the support, there is a technical aspect that needs to clients education, but it's more just to, to give that security for them to use the product and not be afraid. And, and again, 90% of, of customers are non-technical. They haven't used any camera. They, they don't know how to use Canon. So this is their first camera in their lives, except iPhone. So, so, so I, I, I so we, we have always been looking on them, not always, after that after that case when I fly out to Ireland, I finally needed to learn that why the manual is needed. <laughs> we, we, uh, I don't fly down to push the button on the first training anymore, don't get me wrong. But in early days, that, that really taught us that people have the, the trust issue with the tech and, and we just need to provide not the technical support, but just like that emotional encouragement. Yeah, yeah turn on the camera, push the button, it will be great. These are the files and yeah, and then they use a couple of times and off they go. Um, it's pretty straightforward afterwards. Yeah, definitely. So that sounds great. Okay, so if you're interested in testing, you can get a hold of Giraffe 360 uh, through their website. Is that how you want people to do it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. and the website is? Giraffe360.com. And that's spelled? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, G I R A W F E three six zero dot com. Yeah, so remember, giraffe has one R and two Fs. I get confused yeah. about that. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and, and yeah, we I have heard lots of different versions for that. Yeah, and I will keep in contact with Mikus, and I will let you guys know when this is available in the U.S. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, and I will give you guys an update and keep you informed. So anything else you want to talk about? Um, no, it, it was really nice for you to reach out to us um, and, and, and me having an opportunity to, sh to show the product we've been working on. So 
thanks for thanks for having me. It's uh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, I've learned a lot, and I hope everybody watching has too. This has been Capture the World with D. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you. Uh, look into this product when it becomes available and I hope that is soon. <laughs> All right, everyone, take care, stay safe, and I'll see everybody next week. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.